Hi, this video will take you through a, um, a name animation tutorial and I'll show you how you can uh, make your letters move and animate using lots of different motion blocks and uh, look blocks. So let's start. First of all, let me get rid of my um, default uh, cat sprite. So I'll get rid of him and then I'll jump into my sprite library to look for some letters. If I click on to letters and I'll choose J as my first letter and for my J I may want to um, change the the color of my letter so I can click on to my change color effect block let me click on to that a couple of times just to show you what this particular block does as you can see it changes color every time I click on to the change color block I may want to actually apply a forever block so that it forever over and over again it changes the color for me without me having to click on to the change color block all the time so let me just test this script mm. Maybe the color is changing uh, rather too quickly for me, so I'll stop the testing of the script and I may have to apply a wait one second block. So just give Scratch a, ta a chance to think through the instructions and um, forever apply this particular task. So let's just click onto my forever block. And that's better. So it's changing color um, every one second on an ongoing basis. So I'll stop that and I may want to apply an event block. So for me to start this scratch project, I want to use the when green flag is clicked block here. So I've done my J. Let's quickly jump into my sprite character uh, library again, go into letters and I'm going to drag out another letter, which is E. And for this particular letter E, I may want to do a, a different motion block this time. So I might do a turn by 30 degrees and I'll show you what this does. So if I click onto that once, see how it tilts and turns the letter down by 30 degrees. So um, again, I might just say, wait one second after it's turned and then let's make my letter turn back. So I'll grab the turn left by 15. So I'll change that to 30 degrees again. And then I'll jump into my control and apply my wait one second block. And let's see what happens to this. Let's test the script. So it tilts down by 30 degrees and it tilts back up again. So that's working and let me then apply a forever block as well and then a event when green flag is clicked block and let's see how that works. So it's forever turning, turning left and right by 30 degrees up and down so that's fine. Jump into my sprite library again, back to letters. Let's scroll down and try to grab a different type of a letter. So let's do a pixel letter N. I'll move that across here next to my E. For my letter N, why don't we have a look at our change size blocks. So if I jump into my looks tab um, and I'll scroll down a little bit, there we go. That's what I want to do. So let's drag and drop this change size by 10 out. I'll click onto it again and see what happens. You can see that it's changing size by 10 points. So if I go into my control block, I might just grab my wait one seconds. And then why don't we change the size back? So we'll say let's change the size back, reduce the size this time by negative 10. So if we want to do a uh, the opposite where we want to change the size or shrink the size we've got to apply a negative number there and again we'll go into our control apply a forever block go into our events and when green flag is clicked click onto that once to test it and you can see my n is growing oh something's not happening right there 
I forgot to add a wait one second block after this change size by negative 10. So let's just test that out again. And that's better. So it's growing and then shrinking, growing and then shrinking. Right, so let me jump back into my sprite library and grab another N. And this time let's grab this one here move that into position and maybe for this one I'll show you a different type of a um, a block to use where we'll go back into a motion and we may want to make our letter N go up and down. So we're going to try using the change Y by 10 and I'll show you what this does. It goes up and up and the Y coordinates means it's going up up vertically so let's just grab my weight one second go back into my motion block and then we'll go change y by negative 10 this time which means it's going to go down go downwards go back into my control wait one second let's apply my forever block and then into my events and do my gr when green flag is clicked block and then let's just test this out as well. There you go, the end is going up and down. So that's working really well. And the last letter, um, let's actually have a go at creating our own sprite. So I've clicked on to paint new sprite and there you have it. I've clicked onto my brush tool. Um, let me change the color that I want, which is sort of that pinkish color. And I want the thickness of my brush. So let's just adjust that width and let's just do a very cool white there. All right, so I'll just jump back into my scripts. Let's just move my Y into position. It's looking a little bit big there, so I'll just shrink that in size a little bit. There we go. And then for my Y, let's apply a uh, another motion block, this time a move 10 steps. So let's click onto that to see what happens. So you can see that it's moving across by 10 steps. And if I want to make that move back, then we can apply the negative number again. And if I click onto that, it's moving back the other way. So let's just go into my wait one second apply that there, go back into my motion block and um, apply my wait one seconds, my forever block. Again, I want this letter Y to forever move right and then left. And then let's place my green flag is clicked block. Let's quickly test it out. Yep, that's doing really well there. So let's just stop that testing. Um, let's go into my backdrop. It's got a white background there, which is looking a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, um, little bit um, uninteresting. So we'll maybe do a new backdrop, and we'll go into the backdrop library. And maybe I'll go into my indoors and do a party backdrop, and let's go OK. And there you have it. So that's just made my little scratch project a little bit more interesting. And the last thing that I'll show you is a, a sound block. So I may want to add a sound to my project. And so we can see that there's a sound library. I might jump into my musical loops and maybe um, where is the guitar chord? I'll choose a guitar chord and go OK. That. There you go. So I'll go back into my scripts tab and say when the green flag is clicked, I'll jump into my sound tab and I'll say play the sound guitar chords until done. But let's forever play the sound when I click onto the green flags. So let me just test that out. Okay, and let's just actually start my scratch project to see all of my letters and effect. And there you have it. Hope you have fun creating your own scratch project.